So it's starting to be a distant memory, isn't it, Christmas? You might be feeling fed up with hosting drunken uncles, noisy nephews and selfish sisters. You're not alone. An online search for how to get rid of guests <laughs> brings up more than 24 million results. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> How do you get rid of unwanted guests? It was comedian Tom Allen said that his late father would simply say, which of these coats is yours? <laughs> <laughs> and he wanted somebody to go. I don't, have you got a technique, Kelly? I'm a bit worried about saying this because I've got my family over for Christmas. So they're going to be watching out. But, no, I suppose I sort of talk about my early mornings. I start oh, yawning good. on the sofa a little bit, start clearing up, you know, kind of make it very obvious. I check out of conversation. Yeah. Sort of like this, you know. <laughs> 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 oh, my gosh, 6 o'clock in the morning. And I've got to lay until, like, 12, you know what I mean? So, yeah. 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 I do the same. <clears throat> I, yeah. It's just kind of signals, isn't it? I know. Yeah. I think you've got to pick up social cues now. And I feel like families aren't as good at doing yeah. that. So I'm, I'm on those people, I go and put my pyjamas on. Well, so I'm like, you know, like, you're all in fancy clothes, maybe, or whatever, then I'm like, I'll disappear, come back down in my pyjamas, and I'm like, that's my sign. I'm blooming tired, go home. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, it's not just a Christmas time. Luckily, I've... Cos I find it, it mm. difficult to sort of say things outright, but luckily I've got... What? My... Sorry? <laughs> Me, I don't mean that in some situation. I mean when I've got... I mean, with people face-to-face, -face, I find it difficult to say, I'm tired, I want to go to bed. Can you bring back the real Denise? <laughs> <laughs> but I've got a husband who's got resting psycho face, as we know. Oh, right. So he looks like a Rottweiler when he wants people to go. So, and makes no bones about it. And we, we, we can't bear the cold calling situation. So we've got this... Um, What's that? This, you know when people just don't tell you that they're coming? Oh, yeah. Oh. So we've got this CCTV, and if somebody rings on the bell, Lincoln gets it up, and we have been known to do that. You know that army manoeuvre <laughs> when you go on that? Because you try well. because you try <laughs> not to see that you're in the house. <laughs> That's brilliant. It's because we we because we don't drink alcohol anymore. So the the worst thing you can hear is if you've got friends round, is when you hear that. Should we just step over to the shop and see if we can get another <laughs> bottle? It's like, please, no, never come again. Oh, <laughs> oh I really would love to go around Denise's house now, <laughs> wouldn't you? <laughs> I wouldn't have thought you'd need alcohol, though, cos you're just kind of like... No, I don't, I don't need alcohol to have a good time, but there's nothing worse than your drunk friends when it's time to go, because yeah. I used to be that person. I was the drunk friend, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's when people start repeating themselves, Oh, my it? God, like, the 14th oh, time this. when yeah. they tell you the joke, and I was that person. I think I think tidying up as well is a is a sure sign. Like my mother in law is quite good at that. She'll just start cleaning up around yeah. people, and I'm like, oh, she wants everyone to go. You would be better just to say that. Oh gosh, I'm really tired. It's been a brilliant night. Um, well, actually, no, I just no. <laughs> 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 a good idea and then but no what do you can't. do then yeah. well i'll probably do the same as all of you. you just sort of you know stretch oh my god i'll get early yeah. and i just say look i'm off the bed i'm really tired you know feel free stay as long as you like but um i'm going to bed so and imagine then... people just staying if the host went have to you bed? ever yeah. had carol mcgiffin at your house when you're trying oh, to do that oh my god <laughs> actually she's fine we've got some great comments on this actually because she is a total lightweight so she starts off all crazy and then she just completely she goes, vroom, out like that. <laughs> I'm try I'll find these comments for you and uh, I'll read them out a little bit later because you have got much better techniques about getting rid of people than we do. Ah. Um, now, more than a third of us reported they slashed our Christmas spending this year, cutting our budget by half, uh, the cost of living crisis, as well as concerns about getting to debt over the holidays were, of course, amongst the reasons that people tightened their belts. So, here's a question. Is it OK to charge your family and friends for staying <laughs> over at Christmas? I know. Could you give me your details? Really, you wouldn't... 11% of people that we asked said, yeah, it would be OK to charge. Uh, obviously, the majority mm. said that they wouldn't. But the thing is, there's charging and charging, isn't there? I think, yeah, I think it depends what you're asking people to pay for, cos that kind of implies you're charging people to just come and stay. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. we always have Christmas at house, so I'd clean up if I did that every time. But I just, I don't think you could, I, I don't think I could ask my parents to, or my family to pay to just stay in my house. But we do, like, I'm awful. So if I 
for on a Sunday for a roast or on Christmas Day, my mum always does the cooking, and I'm often like, Mum, do you want to come round for a roast? Yeah, do you want to bring the food and cook it then? <laughs> <laughs> so that's generally what we do on Christmas Day as well. So we do kind of have this thing as a family, is my mum and dad will come round, they'll bring the food and they'll cook it, but we all kind of chip in for it, so it's not just my mum and yeah. dad mm. every Sunday, every Christmas paying for it, which I think is fine. But I did have this friend once who invited some friends round to his house and I couldn't make it, and it started raining, so he got like a little gazebo thing and just invited everyone around for drinks. So I don't know why he didn't want them in the house. And then <laughs> charged, <laughs> charged everyone, because he'd had to hire this gazebo, charged everyone come in money for the gazebo and then didn't feed anyone while they were there. So he charged them and they were starving, starving. freezing and outside. <laughs> yeah. yeah, brilliant. I think I've got a refund. I know. I so you, it's weird. You'd, you'd probably bring a bottle, don't you think? If yeah. you've got friends or family, yeah. generally most people message you and say, would you like me to bring something? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Would you like me to bring a bottle? Will you like me to bring food? So I've quite a big family and it's quite lucky because they all say, oh, shall we bring a starter or shall yeah. we bring a dessert and shall we bring the bottle and shall we bring the snacks? So I end up not having to get a lot. Yeah. I mean, it's quite yeah. cool. But, but, I mean, but, yeah, everybody well, feels would... more comfortable with that, don't they? Yeah. yeah. You know, it feels because right it feels like that. a real family event. Unless they bring a pudding you don't like. That's not good. And they've got to bring more than one pudding. You yeah, can't just bring no, one. 100%. No, no, because I don't share puddings, I no. won't share them. Do you not? I, I get really, really angry about the pudding share. <laughs> <laughs> no, because Christmas let me just, at yours is sounding worse just, and worse. Let me, let me no, just think, listen this is to how this. I get rid of unwanted guests by talking on live television about what I <laughs> <laughs> No, just let me quickly tell you the pudding thing, because it really irks me. I'll say to everybody, right, would you like, if you're at a restaurant, would you like a pudding? No, you sure? Because I'll buy it for you. Would you like a pudding? Would you like a pudding? No, thank you. You're you talking sure? about I'll me. I'll buy the puddings. I'll buy the puddings. Would you like one? No. Then I get one. They go, can I have a taste? <laughs> no, you can't have a taste. <laughs> because that's half my pudding. <laughs> go away. It's like when you have, like, a bar of chocolate or something or an ice lolly. Do you want an ice lolly? Do you want an ice lolly? Do you want an ice lolly? No. Can I have a bite of yours? No! <laughs> But you're not a sharer. So like, I'm not a sharer of desserts oh, and puddings. See, if I go out for oh. a meal, I get FOMO, like, literally. Yeah. And I'm always, I take ages to look at a menu. Yeah. You can't decide. So you ask everybody else what, what they're do. getting. And then you just make sure you don't get the same thing. Because then you can go, can I just try a bit? Can I try a bit? You get the best of both. Oh, you two would not can be good not on a date. Do not go out for dinner with Denise. I don't mind so much with the main course. But the pudding, you'll get a fork in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> and you know when the waiter goes, I'll bring two spoons, I go, you won't. <laughs> How do you get Such rid of unwanted guests? Some good ideas. Charlotte says, my nan used to answer the door with a coat and a hat on and yes. wouldn't even make yes. it through the front door. <laughs> that is quite good. And Sonia says, I asked them, would you like a cup of tea before you go? Yes. Uh, yeah. Thank oh, you oh, for that. I always say, have you ordered your cab? Yep. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, she's coming out with it now. Ooh.